Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the duct assembly in your dryer. The reason why you might have to do this is because the duct assembly is damaged or broken. For this repair, we'll be using a short Phillips head screwdriver, a regular size Phillips head screwdriver, a 5 16 inch nut driver, and a quarter inch nut driver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is our dryer that we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Maytag. Keep in mind your dryer might be a little bit different than what we've got here, but the same technique should still apply. The first thing you want to do is make sure you turn your gas off. So I'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver, and it's our little short stubby guy, because we're dealing with an awkward angle and not a lot of space. Now that we've got those screws off, we can tilt the front panel forward and those clips will come right out. And now we're going to carefully set this down. We've still got wires connecting the front bulkhead. So now all we're going to do is just unplug these two wires here. And we can set this bulkhead off to the side. Now we're just going to pull out the lint filter and set that off to the side for now. And now we've got to get to a couple more screws and unscrew them. They're going to be on the inside of the dryer though. And there's just on this side of the lint filter. And now we've just got one more screw in the middle, which is a Phillips head screw. And now we've got one more screw that's holding this on. So we're just going to remove these two screws here and the whole entire piece should just come right off. So now we're going to remove the screws off of this side. And we're just holding this in place. So it doesn't fall down. And now you also want to remove this blue wire here. And with all that off, we should be able to remove the front bulkhead. And we can just set that down off to the side. So this entire piece right back here is our duct assembly that's going to come off. So we've got one last screw right here that was behind this felt that you just can't get when it's on the dryer. So we're just going to remove this last screw here. And now the old duct assembly comes right off. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement duct assembly. If you don't have one already, you can find one on our online store. So now to put this duct assembly onto the bulkhead, we're going to flip it over. And all we have to do is we're going to try and just kind of line up the holes. And at the same time, we're going to slide this tab right over the metal there so it all lines up. Slide it over on both sides and your holes should line up nicely. So now we can screw it back on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this one in behind the felt here. And once that's nice and tight, click up the bulkhead. And we're just going to line up the bulkhead on the drum and line up all the holes here. So you can line up your duct assembly with the blower here and that plastic will actually go on the inside. That'll help you with lining everything up. And once you do that, just lift up on the tub a little bit and everything else should line up nicely for you. So we've got these little tabs here and that'll help you with lining everything up. You're just going to want to slide the tab into that bigger hole. And once we do that, we'll screw it back on. Okay. And now we'll plug the blue wire back in here. And now screw these 
screws back in on the inside of the duct assembly. Now I can put the filter back in. And now we can hook the wires back up. So we're just going to make sure that we've got the wires in the same arrangement that they were before. Yellow goes on this side. And the blue one goes on this side. Okay. Now go back to the front. And now we're going to want to put the front panel back in place. To do that, we're going to just do the opposite of what we did to take it off. We're going to pick it up and angle it a bit and just tilt it back until you hear both of those clips snap into place. Then you should be able to close it up. And now we can screw the bottom back in. So you're just going to want to make sure your panel's pushed in all the way. And once you do that, you should be able to get your screw started in the hole. There we go. And now we can just screw it back in. There we go. And once that's screwed in, you can plug everything else back in and your repair is complete. And now we can turn our gas back on. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, pcappliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.